And look at their headlines. Dinosaur shocker, astonishing signs of life. It's not shocking to me. Okay, it says, the findings amazed colleagues who had never imagined that even a trace of still soft dinosaur tissue could survive. After all, as any textbook will tell you, when an animal dies, soft tissue such as blood vessels, muscles, and skin decay and disappear over time, heart tissue, tissues like bone, may gradually acquire minerals from the environment and become fossils. And also says, if particles of one dinosaur were able to hang around 65 million years, maybe the textbooks are wrong about fossilization. Well, they're close. They're wrong about the date. And take a look at what they teach. For a fossil to form, according to the textbooks, they bury dead organisms that have sunken to the bottom. So something dies, and it, and it sinks, and then it gets buried. Again, animal dies, falls to the bottom of a lake or swamp, and sinks, okay, and gets buried. Animal dies, sinks to the bottom, gets covered in sediment, turns into a fossil. All right, has anybody ever had goldfish? Anybody ever seen a dead fish? Is that on the top or on the bottom? Top. It's on the top. Dead things, dead things float and float, and they go to the top, and then they get eaten up. The mere existence of a fossil proves that it was buried rapidly. Right? That deer on the side of the road is not turning into a fossil. Okay, it had to be buried rapidly. Therefore, that layer of rock that has fossils in it was laid down rapidly, not over millions of years. So the only way it forms is, it's, I'd say, the fossil record is a sign of a worldwide flood in the days of Noah, not millions of years. And there's a lot of problems with that fossil record, and we'll get to that. Okay, anybody know what I'm holding right there? What kind of fish? Jellyfish. Does that have any bones and heart tissues? No. no. According to the textbook, should that turn into a fossil? No. no. But guess what they have at Institute for Creation Research? They got this fossil specifically because Darwin said it couldn't happen. A fossil jellyfish. And does it take millions of years for something to st turn into stone? <laughs> you guys aren't going to get nightmares, right? This is my favorite fossil. You guys sure? You guys can handle it? Okay, get ready to cover your eyes. My favorite fossil, a fossil hat. <laughs> Do you think those dinosaurs were wearing hats around? No, this was a, they cut, shut down a cave in Australia, or a mine in Australia, they went back roughly 50 years later and it had turned into, turned into stone. This one, I think they hang this in a cave that has a lot of mineral running through the water and hang it in the waterfall. Teddy bear, or did the dinosaurs have teddy bear? Help them sleep a little bit.